Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Juan 2.2 is out. We've got new image to video models, a new hybrid text to video model, new text to video model, a new VAE. We're gonna dive right in. I'm gonna teach you how to use Juan 2.1. I'm gonna show you where all the models are. I'm gonna show you how to modify the workflows to adjust your quality and but before we do all that, I'll show you how to set up your Comfy UI environment to be able to use the newest workflows to get Wand 2.2 to run. And then hopefully you'll have the power to create some awesome generations and help the community improve how we use Wand 2.2 overall. Because there's definitely some shortcomings right now, speed being one of them, there it does work with some of the distillation LORAs, but I suspect that the LORAs are going to need to be retrained by the companies that made them in order to really bring them to the next level. Okay, so to start, go to the description below and download all the model files you see down there. Please, while you're downloading the models, leave the video playing. It's going to take you, you know, 10, 20 minutes to download all the models depending on your internet speed. So if you just leave this playing while the models are downloading, it helps support the channel. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button down below. I'll have tons of WAN 2.2 content coming. I'm gonna be testing it with Vase, with WAN Fun, with a bunch of other models to see what tools that we have right now can we use with WAN 2.2 and which tools are we gonna to need to wait for an update for. Okay, so first thing, in the description below, you'll find the same links that we have here. So when you click on these links down below, it should just start downloading the models right away for you. Once you have them all downloaded, come back to this spot in the video and we will put the models in the correct places. All right, so here are my models. You'll see in the list in the description, it tells you where to place the models. So we'll do the first one and then you can go and do the rest of them on your own. So it says to put the high noise 14 B image to video model in the comfy Y models diffusion models folder. Okay. So we'll go to the mod. I'm already in the comfy Y folder. We'll go to the models diffusion models folder, and then I'm going to drag the image to video high noise model into diffusion models. So do that same thing with all of the models that are shown in the description below. And then we'll get into how to make sure your Comfy UI is upgraded all the way so that you can use these models as well. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do to make sure Comfy UI is updated is just drag in the hybrid workflow. There's a new node here, this WAN22 image to video node. So let's download the workflow there should be a link in the description you can also get the workflow on my patreon page so if you download it and drag it in you should see this wand 22 image to video latent node if your comfy UI is updated all the way if you don't get this node if you get a, a node missing error then we need to update comfy UI to make sure that we have the latest so the first thing you're going to want to do is go and check what update style you're using. It's defaults to stable, but you want to be on the nightly version here. And then you can just hit update comfy UI. After you update, you'll have to restart and then refresh your browser. If that doesn't get it for you, then we need to go in to our file explorer and go to your comfy UI folder. And I use the manual install. If you're using the embedded version of comfy UI, there should be a update comfy .bat script that you should just be able to run. If you're using the manual install, which is what I recommend to so right click and open in terminal, and then you'll want to activate the VMV with VNV slash scripts slash activate dot PS one. Okay, from here, you'll want to type pip list, and then we want to see that our Comfy UI front end package is 1.251. So the first thing you can try if it's not 1.25.1 is you'll need to run the command pip install Comfy UI front end package dash dash upgrade. 
okay, mine was already on the right version, so I'm good to go. Once you do that, when you restart Comfy UI, you should have all the latest WAN 2.2 nodes. Okay, the last option you have is just use my artificial studio. If you use this, you'll always get the latest versions of Comfy UI. And I also give you download checkboxes to just download all the models in an automated way. And then all the workflows that I'm gonna use in this video are also available through Comfy UI in Artificial Studio. All right, so we are gonna go through the 14B versions of WAN 2.2 first, and then we'll go through the 5B. And I'll talk a little bit about my opinions on the models as we go and show you how to adjust things if you wanna try various techniques. Okay, so let's start with text to video. So all of the models, if you download them and put them in the places that I told you to put them in, you should be just good to go. You can just run the workflow. If you don't have Sage Attention installed already, go check out some of the other videos in my channel. I have one on installing Sage Attention on Windows that I posted a little while back. And then let's talk about the Light X to V LoRa for a second. So this LoRa was created with WAN 2.1. It does work with WAN 2.2. However, I suspect a little bit of a quality degradation from using this LoRa because it wasn't trained on WAN 2.2. I'm hoping that they're going to re-release all of these LoRas, like Cosvid, Pusa, all of those ones that were created and retrained on WAN 2.2. But for now, they do work. They're great for experimenting. If you want like a really polished, high quality video, I would probably recommend bypassing them. Okay, and then this is 24 FPS, which is really great. The downside is that it takes more VRAM to get the same length of video because now we need to generate more frames. And then the last thing to mention here, so the K samplers are slightly different than we're used to seeing, right? This is two K samplers, and that's because there are two text to video 14B models now. One is for high noise, so we use this at the beginning of the generation to really like, decipher a lot of noise. And then they released a low noise model, which takes the video that was deciphered by the high noise and really defines the small details in the generation. So we get like the general generation from the high noise model and then the really fine details of the generation from the low noise model. The top K sampler does the high noise. So it does the first four steps out of eight steps and then the second K sampler on the bottom does the second four steps out of eight steps. So this K sampler does steps one to four. This K sampler does steps five to eight. And then we get our video from that. Let's put in a prompt and try it out. I'm gonna say a blue alien sitting in his control room on his UFO. One more thing to mention, the VAE for the 14B models is the same. There's another VAE, WAN 2.2 VAE, which is used for the text and image to video hybrid model. So there's our video. I didn't prompt for a lot of movement, so we didn't get a lot of movement. And it's actually one of the really good things to point out about WAN is that it's very prompt specific. So make sure that you are prompting for exactly what you want and don't leave out, you know, any small details because it's not going to hallucinate as much as the previous models might. That one wasn't the best quality we could have gotten because we had the light X to V Laura's on. Remember, if you want to turn these off, that you need to turn your steps up. You need to turn the CFG up and I would recommend uni PC sampler. And then you're going to want to start at step zero and at step 10. And then we're going to do the same thing in this one. So steps 20, CFG 3.5, scheduler simple, or scheduler uni PC. And then this one's going to start at step 10 and go, go to the end. So that is text to video. Great new model, really awesome prompt adherence. I'm excited to do some LoRa training on this. So if you are into LoRa training, subscribe to the channel, 
I'll release a video on how to train this model sometime in the near future here. All right, so let's head over and try image to video next. So I have this woman who's doing a news broadcast and I have this cool little uh, switch node set here, which will automatically detect whether it's a portrait or a landscape video. So all you need to do is define the long side and short side. So like if you want to do 1280 by 720, 1280 would go up here, 720 would go down here. I'm going to do 480p here. So it'll resize my 1280 by 720 image automatically to the correct size video. Okay, and then one thing to note with image to video, we don't need to do clip vision anymore. It just takes, I'm assuming it's doing a similar trick to what Vase did where it just, it's a latent up front of the start image and then it uses that to generate. And then we are using the light X to V image to video Laura here. And it's the same thing with the models. So we have a high noise and a low noise, same thing as text to video, same K sampler similarities where we have the two K samplers split across high, no high noise and low noise. And then for our prompt, for this one, I made sure that I added in some, you know, she is talking and making hand gestures. So we get some actions. We don't just have the blue alien who is sitting stagnant, right? So make sure your frame rate is 24 because now we do get 24 FPS and we should be good to run this. And there is our result. So you can see really clear. I only generate at 480p, so that's why we're getting some artifacting around the mouth. If you generate it at 720p, I find there's less artifacts. All right, and similarly, if you wanna get rid of the LoRa's, just make sure that you're updating your K samplers with the correct settings that I showed you in the text to video section. All right, so final model here is this text, to, text and image to video hybrid model. So we don't have any distillation lures for this, but it does run pretty fast. Unfortunately, I have not gotten any good results with this yet. They always are like really artifacty and warpy and the camera bounces around. There's gotta be something that the community hasn't figured out yet with settings that should work better for this. In the future, when once all of this stuff is kind of stabilized, I'll release another video with kind of best practices for WAN 2.2 so that we can all come up with some better generation techniques around one. All right, so we'll go through the image to video one first. I'm gonna do 480p again. Uh, feel free to turn this up to 1280 by 720. It's just faster for me to prototype at 480p, faster for me to get this video out to all of you. So we're just gonna take this blonde woman and change her from excited to sad in a video. And it's the same thing where you don't have to expressly select your height and width here, you can just use um, this switching group and it'll automatically detect whether it's landscape or portrait and make the correct resolutions. And like I said, if all of your, if you kept all of your models, the same names that you downloaded them as, you're gonna end up with the correct names and this should just work for you right away. And I did put a patch Sage Attention node in here. If you don't have Sage Attention working, then Feel free to bypass that, but it does help your speed. All right, so let's run this. All right, and here is our generation. So you can see, I think it's better than 1.3b, especially when it's a close up on human human subjects, but it does kind of give me like these weird jittery camera motions and it'll kind of like warp geometry sometimes, which is why I don't really love the model, but I, like I said, there's probably some like best practices that we just aren't aware of yet. As the community uses the models more, we'll figure them out and eventually be able to get better generations. Okay, so that is image to video. Really cool thing about this model. All you need to do is bypass this group, unplug the width and height switches, and now we can generate text to video of anything we want. So I'm gonna say a gorilla charging through the jungle knocking down trees. All right, and here's this generation. It's, you know, it's fine. Um, I, it's about what you'd expect from a 5B model, right? Like the trees are a little artifacty, the hair on the grill is a bit artifacty, but you do get 
decent prop adherence. Um, you get the gorilla running through a forest, right? Or a jungle. Like I said, I don't love the results I've been getting from the 5B. I think you're probably better off figuring out 14B and using GGUF models than using the 5B. I think the 5B is probably a proof of concept for something they're working on in the future to see if maybe we can get a hybrid 14B model. So that is it for one 2.2. I hope this video got you up and running. If you need more help, if you're having more issues, if your generations don't look right, head to the Discord. I'm happy to help out with any issues you're having there. I also have options for one-on-one -on -one pricing. If you're a VFX studio and wanna get into WAN 2.2, let me know. I have a great framework started up for helping studios get started with AI generation. So super exciting day with WAN 2.2 releasing. I hope you all enjoy it and I'll talk to you again in the next video.